Hey guys, my name is Elliot Hasek. I'm the senior marketing technologist at Part and Sum, and I'm going to run you through this new programmatic offering for digital out of home from AdQuick. AdQuick is kind of like the Expedia for out of home, where you can buy billboard space uh, from lots of different um, out of home inventory. And they just launched their new DSP where we can um, set a target CPM, like the most we're willing to pay for a thousand impressions. Uh, and we can see all the different um, screens all over the country or even different parts of the world where we can bid on um, digital out of home placements. So let's just jump in. This is their new programmatic um, software. You create a new plan, uh, it's just loading. All the purple dots are digital placements. Um, they're based in San Francisco, which is why it starts there. But you can see there's lots of inventory here. And when you hover, it says like what those uh, placements are. So just for a test, we're gonna um, start with New York. And for out of home placements, normally there's budget minimums like tens of thousands of dollars, but AdQuick DSP doesn't have any budget minimums. and you restrict the number of screens that you're gonna reach uh, by how much you're willing to pay for each impression. So just for reference, let's just um, start with uh, 4th of July because maybe people will start walking outside because right now during COVID lockdown, uh, there's not that many people outside. So you might not reach that many people. Um, you select a category, business. Um, I'm gonna just choose like a placeholder budget of $1,000 which is really low for out of home. Uh, and you see like, I can still reach lots of different placements, um, but when I set my max CPM, just for reference, let's go $10, but that's actually very low. A lot of the bigger placements are gonna require a higher CPM. Uh, even delivery, you can do ASAP, which is like accelerated delivery from other ad platforms, just trying to spend your budget as fast as possible, but even it's gonna be like more balanced. So set that there. Um, didn't restrict that much because we're, we're still really broad, but we're going to just go for a, a New York DMA. So um, there you go. You can see there's lots of placements, but for reference, I just want to look at uh, Times Square because like th there's all these um, digital out of home uh, places to run ads. So um, even for a thousand dollars with $10, CPM, we can hit some of these um, interesting placements like you see, and it's cool, it shows you like where it is, what it looks like, the size. Um, so this is just like totally new um, capability that we've wanted to do for a long time and now it's like a reality. So yeah, you can just hover and see where you wanna run your campaigns, but you can, you can reach all kinds of placements all over New York, even for a $10 CPM, which is very low. Um, and then you can see the venue types. Um, we're not excluding any and we're including everything, but it's like, you know, community centers, um, hotels, malls, movie theaters, public space, retail, all these different, even taxis are just super cool. Um, venue types and then screen types. Um, that's like a little more granular inside the location. So it can be both placements inside like hotels or like outside bus stops and stuff. Um, you can even drill down into points of interest if you had um, specific places where you need to run. You can do day partying. You can schedule it um, if you only want a very specific time, like lunch hour. Um, and then you can see all the publishers. Like they, they have access to all the different publishers. Normally, you would have to go through each one and make a deal with the um, out-of-home inventory. But in this case, with one DSP, you can access all of these different digital, out, digital out-of-home um, inventories. You can also have private deals here, here if you wanted to, and it shows the CPM, but we're more interested in um, how you can control where your ads run based on your max CPM. And you can see based on this overview, we have access to 2000 screens. Um, we can restrict it even more with points of interest if we wanted to just do um, Times Square, for instance. And that's pretty much it. You just go to continue and then you upload your creative. Um, and then the trick is to get it approved ahead of time so that when you're ready to go, you can just turn it on. And it shows you the, just kind of like Google, where you can just see all the different uh, sizes. 
Um, and there's also video. Um, I think for now it's just images, but we'll be able to run video too. And then you review and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.